All right, so I'm inside of a 2020 Honda Civic. Uh, this will work with any of the models with the touchscreen. So this works on the previous models too. And as you can see below, I have a custom setup here and then I have my own custom image behind uh, that you can see. And it's just a really cool way that you can do uh, some different things in this vehicle. And I wanted to show you those. Um, so I've got two different things running here. I have a different skin setup, which is all my button uh, configuration. And then I have a custom image in the background. So let's start with the custom image and show you how to do that. So if I go to my settings, which on yours, you probably have, you know, three and three here or four and four. Uh, you'll just click on settings. Now, once you've gone to your settings, you're going to want to go to system settings. And I'll back out of this when I change screens. Uh, so we'll, we'll show you a couple ways of how to do this. Uh, now, if I scroll to the very bottom, so I'm gonna toggle across over here on these menus and get to the very last one, it'll say other. All right, so when I get to other, you're gonna see change screen here. We're actually, I'll, I'll do that one first, just so you can see what the classic setup that you're used to seeing probably is. So if I click on next, uh, it's gonna say, yeah, would you like to change? I'm gonna hit okay, uh, and then it's gonna change for me. So basically what I'm gonna do is change back. All right, so this is probably the display you're used to seeing. It's just a classic, hey, I've got some menus going right here. So from here, I'm gonna go to settings uh, to change this back, and then I'm gonna go to system. And then same thing, under system, I'm gonna go to other, the very last one. When you get here, if you go down to change skin, you'll select next, and this will pull up and give you the option to change that skin, and then when you do it, um, it'll pop over, uh, let's give it a second here, uh, and we'll show you, yeah, absolutely. So it pulls up, you can see that I've moved all of the buttons to the bottom when I did this earlier, just to make it nice clean, your buttons are probably gonna be all over the screen. Uh, so just to give you a heads up. Now, let's show you how to add this custom background image here, right? So I just pulled one of the images I put at the end of my videos where you can see this would normally be uh, to use as an example. So if I scroll over here to settings again, and we're almost gonna do the exact same place. We're gonna go to system settings again, and then from here, you're gonna to wanna to jump down to the very bottom of the screen. So we're gonna go down to other again. And we're gonna to go to the very bottom, you'll see detail information. So I wanna select that. All right, so the second part of this is you're gonna to need to get a USB drive if you want a custom image, right? Uh, and what I've done is I've plugged in my USB. So I've got a tiny one here plugged in, which is just a scan disk. Uh, and I think this is like a, I wanna say an eight gigabyte, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. So I've got a bunch of images on this thumb drive and it has to be a thumb drive. It can't be your phone, so just be aware of that. So what I've done now is I go to display, go to wallpaper, and then under that you're gonna see gallery. Uh, when I select gallery, it's gonna pull up one folder and I can see just that first image, but I've actually got three or four different images in here, right? So you can see that I've got a couple of business cards and different things that I've used just for examples here. So we'll take a different one just to show you. So it'll select the image and then the next thing it would do is say, well, how much of this image do you wanna use? So I'm gonna select as much of it as I can. And then once I do that, I'm gonna go to the top of the screen up here and I'm gonna click okay. Uh, and then once I've done that, now I'm gonna jump back to my home screen and boom, there you go. I've got a custom image set up in the background here. Uh, so perfect example of what I used to use. Um, you know, I would leave this on cars for people just to show them, hey, I just wanna say thank you. It's kind of a surprise when they take the car home. Um, so really easy to set up, really easy to do. As far as your image size, uh, all the images I've used. So this one was actually fairly small. Uh, if you're going pixel wise, I wanna say that one was like 600 by 400, uh, but the one I used earlier was 1920 by 1080, so it's because it's an ending screen that I use uh, for video, so it's a massive image. Uh, so in that sense, you don't need to worry about the size of the image, it's more of the, the size of the file probably, uh, but I mean, these are, I think one of them was 130 kilobytes, so I mean, you should be good as far as that goes. I haven't run into really an image that it wouldn't use yet. It's actually pretty user friendly when it comes to that. Uh, the biggest thing is just getting your image, put it on your thumb drive, you know, which I've done, uh, and then go in here and set it up. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll uh, be more than happy to help you out. While we're here, I'll show you one other cool thing you can do. Um, so if we scroll back down to that same area, so I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom again, go to detail information. There's actually one other thing I wanna show you and that's under display again. If you go to wallpaper and then live wallpapers, your your car actually comes with some already on it, which are really cool. And they're all they, they, these are moving live wallpapers, so just exactly what it sounds like. Uh, and some of these are very subtle. If you want something kind of loud, uh, I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Uh, it'll give you a preview screen, and then if I set that as my wallpaper, now when I jump back to my home screen, this is what I'd have running behind me. So a lot of really cool things you can do with Civics. Now, if you're looking in an Accord or looking in some of these other vehicles, they're not going to have this kind of customization option. This is one of the pluses that the Civic has. 
I don't know if it's because they're aiming at a little bit younger crowd that maybe a little more Tech 7 enjoys this, or if it's just something that's, you know, standard in a Civic because there's some difference in the head unit itself. Uh, so just be aware of that if you're thinking, hey, if I'm in another vehicle, will this work? No, this only works in the Civic, uh, as to my knowledge right now of all the cars I've tried. So just be aware of that. If you have any questions, feel free to holler at me, reach out. Um, pretty easy to understand this. If you've got questions, comment on the YouTube video, uh, or you can call or text me, um, or you can shoot me an email. If you want to call or text me, my number is 737 737- Four four three nine five five five. My name's Justin. Um, or if you want to email me, uh, my personal email is jf underscore one zero six four at Yahoo. Uh, so feel free to shoot me an email, shoot me a call, shoot me a text uh, if you're having issues with this or just want uh, to understand it better. Because uh, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Thanks, guys.